Welcome. In this video, we're going to begin our project, which is a portfolio application by install Radaver and Vue.js. All right. So let's open up our terminal and make sure we have an write directory where we're going to create our project. For me, I'm in desktop slash tutorials. All right. The first thing I want to do is to create a new project with composer create project Radaver slash Radaver and then the name of our project. Since it's portfolio application, I'm going to call it portfolio website. All right. All right. Our Laravel project has been created. Let's go ahead and cd portfolio dash website. Open it in our VS code. All right. Let's now open a terminal in our VS code. All right. I'm going to use PHP artisan serve. That should spin up our web server for me. And then let's open up this URL right here in our browser. Cool. So our Laravel application is installed and you can see the default Laravel application installed here. All right. The next thing I want to do is to open a new tab in our browser and then open up this URL localhost slash phpmyadmin and create a new database. called portfolio dash db. All right. Let's go back in my VS code and see our project. The first thing I want to do is to go in my project is to open up the env file. This environment we hold our, our database connection information. So I want to set up a database since we are going to be using Laravel and MySQL. I have already created a database that called portfolio-db in a unit. My username is going to be root and my password is just root root. That should be it for our env file. All right. I'm going to open a new tab terminal in our VS code because I want to start Vue.js and all dependencies. All right. Let's go by npm install vue-road next view next view dash router next all right let create this out and run npm vit js slash plugin dash view dash dash force dash dash save dash dev all right i'm finished to install Vue.js and his dependencies ready to go in my project in vit.config.js and import view from vit.js slash plugin dot view right view here all right. We're going to on resources on GS and create a new folder called components. In components, I'm going to create a file called app.view. In app.view, let's add template, which will be my first component in this Laravel project. All right. We we'll go in app.js and import 
create app from view import app from slash component slash app dot view create app app dot mounted app go in my views folder in welcome dot blade php let's remove all this content and add vit resources slash css slash app dot css and add in body a div with id app and then add vit resources slash gs slash app dot gs all right let's now run in my terminal npm run dev and we'll go in my browser our Vue.js component is called let's just change here in my app.vue.js and add a h1 tag all right we'll go back in my vs code on my components and create a new folder called pages in pages i'm going to create a folder called home on home folder I'm going to add a file called index.view. All right, let's go in index.view and add an h1 tag. Welcome to our home page website. This is going to be our home page. Let's go back on my component and create a new folder called admin. On admin, I'm going to create another folder called home in admin slash home i'm going to create a new file called index.view which will be our admin home page all right hit add template h1 welcome to admin overview dashboard all right let's stay here for this moment and go back on components create a file called notfound.view in notfound.view add template which will help us when page is not found all right let's go on gs and create a new folder called router on router i'm going to create a file called index.js in this index.js, I'm going to import create router, create web history from view router, const router, create router history, create web history process.env.base url <coughs> all right let export default router const roots import our admin dashboard overview import admin index from dot dot dash slash component slash admin slash home slash index dot view and import pages import home page index from component pages home index dot view import also not found component from component slash not found dot view 
All right. On const roots, I'm going to add admin path. Path slash admin slash home component home admin index. Let's continue by add pages. Path slash component home home page index and then add not found. Path slash path match component not found. All right. With this not found component, I'm going just to make our not found dot view component work where I'm going just to make some change on my roots in web.php by adding roots get path match function return view welcome where path match All right, this route will help core our not found dot view component. Let's now go in my pages on app dot view, remove this line and add router dash view. All right. Let's go now in my app.js file and import router from dot slash router. Let's change here and add dot use router. All right, let's now verify in my browser. There is a mistake. Let's inspect in console log. The error come from here in my create web history. We we'll go on my router in index.js and remove this here. All right, our welcome page is up here now. All right, let's just add some roots link. This root link will redirect to admin dashboard. Char in slash admin slash home. Wait go on my admin on home in index.view and add another root link which will redirect us to our welcome home page. All right, let's verify that is okay my browser. Let's go now in my not found page <coughs> and add also a root link which will redirect us to our home page. Router slash link. All right, we finished to install Laravel and Vue.js in our portfolio website project. Let's stay here for this moment in next video. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any kind of question, you can ask me in comment box. Thank you for watching this video.